to News 9. We now have election updates from Uttar Pradesh. Now, Banaras, where BJP's uh, Prime Ministerial candidate Narendra Modi is locked in a blockbuster battle with Aam Aadmi Party chief Arvind Kejriwal and Congress's local challenger Ajay Rai voting to decide the fate of all the three today. Now, the temple town has turned into a fortress with over 45,000 security personnel being deployed to ensure free and fair polls. And senior police officers have descended here to personally assess the situation. Well, in fact, uh, you can clearly see the hand symbol on uh, Ajay Rai's uh, shirt. Well, that had created a major controversy when Narendra Modi went to cast his vote in Gujarat with the lotus symbol on his shirt. And here, Ajay Rai's uh, decision to have the hand symbol on his shirt has also caused, has all sort of created controversy over there. In fact, uh, it goes against the uh, code of conduct. You're not supposed to have any sort of symbol whatsoever. The uh, strict uh, election commission rules. Now it's left to be seen what the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party will do. Will they take this matter up with the election commission? Will an FIR be filed? Because an FIR was in fact filed against uh, Narendra Modi. That's all left to be seen. In fact, uh, we are also told that central paramilitary forces have been deployed in all the 1,562 polling stations, which are also under CCTV coverage. The individual you see there standing in the queue is uh, Congress's candidate, the Banaras uh, Lok Sabha constituency seat, Ajay Rai, bearing a symbol of the Congress, the hand. Now, that is, in fact, a clear violation of the uh, Election Commission's Code of Conduct, where you're not supposed to portray or show any sort of symbol when you come to vote. Now, you come to vote without any symbols, you come as a plain individual. Well, in fact, the election commission uh, or the election today, I beg your pardon, took a bitter turn after BJP accused the DM and the returning officer Pranjal Yadav of bias and demanded his removal after he controversially refused permission to Modi to hold a rally in the Muslim dominated locality of Beniabag. In fact, our voting has now begun for the final fours of the Lok Sabha elections in eastern Uttar Pradesh, northwestern Bihar, and southwestern Bengal. However, the big battle is being fought in Varanasi, where Congress's Ajay Rai pitted against BJP's Prime Ministerial candidate Narendra Modi and Aam Aadmi Party national convener Arvind Kejriwal. Now, all three have uh, basically sweated it out. Well, much more than Modi there. It's been uh, Arvind Kejriwal on the ground along with uh, Congress's Ajay Rai. We do know what happened on the 8th of May when uh, the returning officer and the district magistrate uh, refused permission for, to Narendra Modi to hold a road rally. He finally uh, conducted a drive through on that was on the 8th, on the 9th. The Aam Aadmi Party held a major rally. And the 10th, you had uh, Rahul Gandhi coming there, conducting a major road rally, followed by the SPs. That was, uh, that was held with the uh, Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav leading from the front. <laughs> in fact, the uh, fate of uh, SP Supremo Mulayam Singh Yadav from Azamgarh will also be sealed today. Now, these are visuals coming in from Uttar Pradesh. You can see uh, people standing in queues. Well, we're told that uh, people started to flock the boots are from quite early in the morning. Security has is tight in entire Uttar Pradesh, especially in Varanasi. 
with 45,000 paramilitary and police forces stationed over there in order to see that free and fair elections are conducted. Well, in fact, the other key seat in Uttar Pradesh is Azamgarh, which has drawn attention for a number of terror-linked arrests. Now, Mulayam Singh Yadav, the Samajwadi party chief, is fighting what is seen as a prestige battle here. He's up against sitting BJP MP Ramakant Yadav. Among 17 seats voting in West Bengal is Kolkata North, which is witnessing an interesting four-way contest. Now, this is the last phase of the nine-phase poll. Now, voting started exactly at 7 this morning, get over in the evening. When, well, in fact, in the Bihar, uh, six Lok Sabha seats are up for grabs. Now, in fact, our voting also began this morning in six constituencies in the last of the six the nine phase Lok Sabha polls. Now, among the candidates uh, in Bihar are filmmaker Prakash Jha and former union minister Raghuvansh Prasad Singh. Now, while Jha is trying his luck on a JDU ticket from Paschim Champaran, more popularly known as Betia. Raghuvansh Prasad Singh, who won praise for piloting the Mandriga, is fighting from his traditional Vaishali seat on a RJD ticket. Now, uh, Singh is pitted against muscle man politician Rama Singh of the LJP and Vijay Kumar Sahni of the JDU. Now, the six seats going to the poll are Valmiki Nagar, Paschim Champaran, Purvi Champaran, Vaishali, Gopal Ganj, and Sivan. Now, elaborate security arrangements have been made for the last round of elections with 58,000 security personnel put on duty. In fact, it's the final day uh, today and these are the big seats. Of this, uh, this is from Azamgarh, which has uh, Mulayam Singh Yadav, the SP party chief, fighting what is seen as a prestige battle. He's up against sitting BJP MP Ramakant Yadav. The other big battle, of course, is the Holy City. Now, this is another important constituency, Dam Dam constituency. You have uh, BJP's Tapan Sikdar against Saugata Roy and Asim Das Gupta of the left. In fact, the big battle uh, of this 